So be aware in arguments or um, conversations where we feel as though there's some type of discord. It is not even the it's not even about expressing ourselves that will actually bring us harmony. What I mean by that is it's I guess it's kind of part of pop psychology or just therapy in general where a person needs to express him or herself and they they think that feels good and that makes them better but have you noticed people who have been expressing themselves and expressing themselves and expressing themselves about the same thing and it seems like their life is not changing still like for the better they don't necessarily feel happy it's like as if Okay? It's because they haven't connected to the energy of it. If you connect to the love aspect of it, you don't have to express anymore. You're just like, it's gone. You have evolved from that. I'm not saying that we shouldn't express ourselves. I'm saying that that's just the beginning point. That's just the beginning point. Can you give an example? Yeah. Um, I have a tendency to talk about exes. Maybe that's why I have a lot of them. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, this, well, it, it actually... Shit, it just happened. It actually didn't happen too long ago. It's not an ex, it's a friend, but it was just where... It was, it's funny. It's not, it's, it never was about whether or not we were lovers or friends. It's a, the way that she expresses herself. And so there was never resolution in that because that's not in her DNA. Mm -hmm. So um, when we would talk about something, she would, at least she's progressed, but at first was not saying anything, Mm -hmm. but you'd feel it Mm -hmm. to the next level, being past aggressive. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'm fine with it. (laughs) 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 To... Now expressing it. I'm bothered because I felt blah, blah, blah. So those are the three levels. We, and if that's it. But that's where she still is at. But she still, she's expressing herself because she feels like a victim. What if she didn't feel like a victim? Then there wouldn't be any of this. So it's being able to connect to that energy, diffusing that, or she's not triggered anymore. Mm-hmm. So, you know, some people, they just constantly argue about the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's not about what they're arguing about. It's where it's coming from, and they haven't really pulled the roots. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. So imagine this for a moment. You know, I talked about connecting to the God and Goddess within each other. This is a beautiful exercise to do with multiple people maybe one of these days I'll do it uh, again, is where you pair up with people and you look at them for minimum five minutes. Clothing optional. Not kidding. Um, you, look, <laughs> you look at people for five minutes and you don't say anything. But you have to stay focused on their eyes. You'd be surprised how uncomfortable everyone gets. After you get done, you can share with just a few words what came up or nothing at all. The person is not to respond at all. It might be, I felt judged, I, whatever it is. Then you go to the next person. You might feel love. Then you go to the next person. And several things happen in this process. It's because this person might say to this one person, I don't trust you. That she will tell them, him or her, that. Next person will say is, you're the sweetest person. I love you. And what happens is you realize that how much people project stuff onto us. And we get a different story by 20 different people. And 20 different stories are evoked within us. But those stories are within us. Okay? And so when, if you can be with a lover where you sit, like this is a, a ritual that I, I've always tried to incorporate into my relationships. And 
and you have to get someone on the same page, is when she would come home, like, I would not want to talk about the day right away. I would actually want to sage, get rid of that freaking bad energy. No, I'm kidding. No, I'd want to <laughs> sage. <laughs> no, there's no bitterness. This is just to make you laugh. I swear to it. No, no. <laughs> no. It's, uh, it would be to, like, n to be in silence for just five minutes. Because I didn't want her to bring those conversations from everyone else into that sacred space, mm -hmm. nor did I. Because there might be this excitement in seeing her, but not, it might not be necessarily the excitement about her. It might be that, I've been lonely all day. I have someone to talk to. <laughs> mm -hmm. But when I would connect to her, more often it was just kind of like, oh, there you are. Mm -hmm. Then you begin. It's a different conversation. So imagine all the stimulation that you have on a daily basis at this busy city, the internet, and all those conversations are part of your relationship. So keeping your relationship sacred and thriving is becoming aware of this. And if you had a partner where you practice these three times a week, five, ten minutes looking at each other like that, those insecurities that might come up, mm -hmm. you can process in that moment because you're not in an argument. Yeah. You're conscious. Yeah. So come Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're just flowing because mm -hmm. all that baggage is gone. Imagine coming into a relationship where you know, no, I have this stuff. It's, you know, I'm going to be accountable for it. It's not your responsibility. But what would be great is if you can bring yourself also and we could just look at it and and bring awareness to it so we can travel light. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. And those type of relationships have more of a chance of lasting. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, what we do is one of the reasons why we become interested in other people <clears throat> is because at least in that one moment, it feels lighter, it's fun. Mm -hmm. But if you're with someone for a long time and there's unresolved issues, it's not just the issues that were created in that relationship. It's his daddy issues. It's his, her mother issues. It gets freaking old. Of course you become attracted to other people. Of course you want to get out. But if you are shown up with what I'm sharing right now from the get-go and being able to be awake and communicate, you travel light. If you are being offered some free tools that could get you unstuck, would you be interested? If so, visit RayDoctor.com and receive your free transformational exercises. Imagine starting each day feeling deeper love, a clearer mind, and being able to say to yourself, I really feel good. My clients love these and so you. Get them now for free at RayDoctor.com.